Hi everybody! For this week's video, I have a quick and easy keychain. A pumpkin made with Bernard Premium orange and green. First, we will cast on. Finding the black needle, grab it. One in the front, one in the back. For the first row, the huge 23 is the number of row that you need to create your little pumpkin. So one row is done. So now it's time to crank till we reach 23 rows. When 23 rows is done, time to remove it from the yarn feeder, crank it for a full 360 to make sure that all the stitches is released by the machine. Just like this. When the black one get up, you stop because it's the first one that I start. So I bring my wool needle with my big container so that way I don't lose it anymore. <laughs> so I prepare my yarn needle, grab the stitch, and then grab the other one very important to grab it all. If you miss one, you will end up with a drop stitch. Not always fun, but it's okay. So I continue grab it. That's an easy project since I didn't do that much lately because I was not feeling well. So that's a great one to start. Just to get me in again a starter so it's very easy so if you are beginners it's just gonna be fine with you for the keychain you don't need any ring I will show you how to replace it so last one there now it's time to close both end of the two and First we have to stretch it very well and then you pull to close one end of your project like this. So I go like this and pull to secure it like this. When it's secure you go on the other side and you do exactly the same hole and with the wool needle you go and close it so you continue and do a double knot tight it and then you fold it just like when we do a hat I go and reach the other side with my tail so that way I could attach those two together. Attach it tight, cut the excess, stretch it again, and then I will close the other side and put some stuffing in it. So make sure that you put the numbers in your notebook. And we're now going to close it. So I will go with my the tip of my wool needle, grab one full stitch, skip one, one full stitch, skip one, and continue like that till I reach the starting point. Just like this. Just on the border. So that way I will pull after to close it. We'll give it like a, a ball shape but we'll change after. <laughs> there, almost finished. There. So time to stretch it a little bit again and bring this stuffing 
for the stuffing this the trick is always to just add a little bit at a time if you go too much you're gonna maybe regret it it won't be okay so put just a little bit at a time sorry and then you close it with that double knot nothing hurt on it just take your time and you will be able to do that one so just a little bit of stuffing getting out so we will go and put it tighter just grab one stitch and skip one one stitch and skip one and it will help to squeeze it and close better like that so now I will cut the excess of there or maybe not maybe just go and hide it uh, maybe I cut it I cut it <laughs> didn't remember because I record myself, edit, and then put my voice on it. And sometimes I don't, I don't remember the order I did the project. <laughs> so I will hide it. For now, it just looks like a ball. But it won't stay like that for long. I will just go and squeeze it a little bit to give it the shape that I'm looking for and then with some wool I will just go and shape it give it the shape of a bunkin just like I need it to be so I go start in the middle keep a tail and go back and you could do the same thing with your 46 or 40 needle machine. Just add more rows and punkle, punkle, pumpkin <laughs> could be any size. So create any size that you want. So I did this little one with 23, but if you go with 100 or 80 for the big machine, it will work the same. You will shape it just like I did right now. So no worries. If you don't have the big machine yet, you could do this project as soon as you got one, if you want. So I will continue like that, going in the middle, and then the other side, and just tight a little bit. If you go too tight, <laughs> will not maybe not look like the way you want it to be so pull a little bit and then I will go and join the other side to attach those tails together to secure my work Ta -da! <laughs> so I do a double knot it's a pumpkin but it's also looked like a the flowers if you change the color <laughs> so I did and cut the excess there there's a little part of crochet or hook you will need 25 single crochet if you're not comfortable with crochet yet or hook yet just go with a ribbon or maybe if you do a braid with your yarn could be just fine so just turn it like this if you never do any hook yet just turn it and grab the yarn over like this and bring it to me hold it with my thumbs and finger turn my hook I go very very slow but just like I said if you're not comfortable with the hook yet 
just go with a ribbon or just use a thicker yarn, a green one if you have, or a darker brown or black. Use what you have. There. And you will need 25 stitch. You chain 25 stitch and then you cut your yarn and you close it like this. There, you got your little chain. Now it's time to attach it on your pumpkin. So I will go one side with my wool needle and then I do pinch on the side, not in the same hole, and bring the other tail like this and attach those two together very tight to knot like this Ta -da -da. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself that I created something tonight oh my god it was so long since I came to my studio and created something I it's a, a pumpkin it's an easy project but I'm still proud of me <laughs> I did it. So I hide this yarn. Oops. Just turn it together. Put it in hold and pull. And I will cut the excess. Like this. Squeeze it and you can't see it anymore. So now it's time to add your key on it. This could be a nice gift for a teacher, a friend, or just for yourself. Treat yourselves. So hope you enjoyed this little video. And see you next week for a brand new video. Ciao, ciao! <laughs>